Welcome to this Adobe XD plugin tutorial. Today we are going to check out the repeater plugin. The project files to follow this tutorial is in the description. Download them from the link in the description down below. This is a cool new plugin with which you can add content to repeat grids. Here in this tutorial, I will demonstrate four use cases in which the repeater plugin will save you a lot of time. The first one is a card with profile of people. It includes a picture, name, designation and location. Now click and drag to select all the objects. Press the repeat grid button to make the cart into a repeatable object. Grab the green vertical and horizontal handles to expand the grid and adjust the spacing. Now we have six copies of the card. Select the repeat grid by clicking on it or either going to the layers panel. Now click on the plugin icon to bring up the plugin panel and select repeater plugin from the list. A window pops up. On the top left side of the window, there is a representation of how the object looks. The orange color indicates the selected object. There is a drop-down list just below it which have all the layers in that repeat grid. Click on the image placeholder or select the photo layer from the drop-down to highlight the ellipse. Now you can search for the images that you would like to insert. If you like an image, click on it once to lock it, and press shuffle button to bring up a set of new images. When you have six images press apply to apply those images into the repeat grid. Now select the name layer, either from the drop down, or from the representation above. The text category comes up on the right side. Press the category drop down to view all the different kind of text you can insert. For names, I am going to select name from the list. Select first name and last name option and choose both male and female names from the drop down menu. Press apply. Now select the designation text and choose a job type, then press apply. Finally for the location, change the category to address and choose country. Press close when you are done, and now the repeat grid is populated with all our selections. You can make the grid as long as you like and add more content into them. Now for a case with text fields only, say a list of businesses. The process is the same, so let's speed this up. Make the repeat grid, select it, and go to the repeater plugin. Select the text category as company and choose appropriate texts. Next case is for an e-commerce card, which include the item, name, price and category texts and an image. Make it into a repeat grid and use the plugin to add content. I am not going to add image this time, but you can do that like the first example. Select commerce from category to get the relevant options. Since it is inside a repeat grid, global changes can be made and works without a problem.
Now with the same example, we can add custom text. Create a repeat grid and go to the plugin. Highlight the text you need to change and select custom list from the category. I will paste a list of names I have prepared in the text box, with a comma separating them. I need to choose a separator, from the drop-down menu, select the comma. Now the refined list appears. There are options to sort them, but I am going to left it at random. Press apply, and the custom text will be applied to the grid. The last example is a list of transactions. Select all, make it into a repeat grid, and add the required fields from the finance option under the category dropdown. This is how the repeater plugin can be used to fill in contents in repeat grids in Adobe XD. Thanks for watching. More tutorials and plugin videos are coming, so subscribe to my channel to get more updates. Like and comment your thoughts on the video.